Blender 4.2 has been released and the Auto Smooth shading functionality has been updated. In Blender, Auto Smooth creates the appearance of smoothing on polygon meshes by blending the vertex normals of neighboring polygons. It does this across all vertices without limit, which can create shading problems across surface regions of a mesh that you actually want to look flat and have a sharp, visible boundary around those regions. Prior to version 4.1, we could apply a limit to shading by invoking the shade auto smooth command. This command applied an angle limit between vertex normals, making it possible to maintain non-smoothed, flat parts of a model. Blender 4.1 made a significant change in this area by eliminating the shade auto smooth command and replacing it with two separate functions. One was a new modifier that applied the same angle limit functionality as Shade Auto Smooth from 4.0. The second was a menu command called Shade Smooth by Angle. This applied limits to surface shading by also applying an angle based limit, but it did so destructively by adding a sharp edge to edges if they exceeded the specified angle. I warned people about using this because it was a destructive process, whereas the modifier did this interactively without altering the mesh. Many people were really unhappy with these changes, and so Blender 4.2 introduces a quasi fix to this problem. It restores the Shade Auto Smooth menu command from 4.0 with the same angle limit behavior. However, it invokes the new Auto Smooth modifier that 4.1 introduced. So, the modifier that many people didn't necessarily like is still here, but the more direct and familiar approach to applying angle-based shading constraints from 4.0 has been restored. So, we can see right here I've created this model. I've got some parts of it that I want to be flat, and I've got some parts of it that want to be curved. And it's a subdivision surface object, but ultimately it's the generated mesh that is having the shading and angle-based limiting applied to. So I want this to be a hard bevel, and I want the end caps to also be flat. So this is 4.1. If I bring up the context menu, we already have Shade Smooth applied. If I do Shade Smooth by Angle, which is that command I told you to be careful of, then we get the visible behavior that I want. But when we come in, something very subtle has happened that you may not be aware of. So I have creasing applied to these angles. If I were to remove the creasing, so let me select everything, press the N key and let's remove all the creasing, then you would see that we suddenly have these sort of teal blue lines that have been applied everywhere. Those are edges that have been marked sharp by that command. And this is what I was saying that that command was destructive. It's applied a behavior to each edge that gets saved with the mesh. And if you had had some edges that maybe you had manually applied these sharp edges to, you would have to go untangle that from what this new command had done. And that's why it's destructive. Let's take a look at this again. So I've got this angle that I want to maintain as a sharp visible feature. And I have creasing applied here to the mesh, but we can't see it because Shave Smooth is turned on. So in 4.1, you now needed to come down to the normals and apply the smooth by angle modifier, and it would restore that angle-based limiting. So here we are in 4.2, and we have the same object that has the angles. Now we bring up the context menu and we see that Shade Auto Smooth has been restored, and invoking that gives us the same type of behavior that we would have had in 4.0 in prior versions. But what it's doing is it's simply now just invoking that Shade Smooth modifier with the default 30 degree angle. So whether you like that modifier or not, it really was necessary to allow for further development with nodes. But I think this is a more streamlined approach to give us angle-based shading controls in 4.2.